MGT, what it do? It's your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful, fucked up, sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do, bro. We work on ourselves every single day. So you already know what time it is, man. I'm outside by the tree right now, getting some downloads, you feel me? Getting some some, some uh, oxygen, you feel me? Creating my life like how it's supposed to be created and doing it the right way, you get what I'm saying? So first of all, how y'all doing today? Hopefully y'all putting yourselves in the right type of vibration. Hopefully you are getting to your goals and you are staying consistent with what you gotta do every single day. This is just MGT Quick Thoughts. The video's not gonna be too long. Just want to share. Um, I just want to share my thoughts on, like, you know, continuing your spiritual walk here in the Matrix, bro. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this and and pr probably I've heard stories about this. A lot of guys, like when they started their retention journey and shit, they were on it for a couple of years, and they end up finding, like, you know, I guess their twin flame or their wife or whatever. I'm hearing more and more stories about that shit, right? Now with me, again, the the like, I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. I'm nowhere near what I where I want to be in life. You know what I'm saying? And I said this in one of my videos uh, a couple of days ago. And basically, it's like you don't want to put yourself in a position or put yourself in a situation where you commit to somebody and then like literally a year later you might be a totally different person you feel me especially if you know you're going to be traveling and you're going to be doing so many things you want to be 100 percent honest with the person right so me i i do my best to be honest and i also do my best to kind of avoid the whole relationship shit the whole relationship thing but i will tell you this bro a lot of the times usually when you're not looking for shit when you're not looking for a relationship when you're not looking for sex Hell, even when you're not looking for money, but if you are focusing on yourself, cultivating your energy, not wasting your energy, you feel me? And just different things that, that, that are out there in the matrix. Again, like the most common thing is porn. A lot of people, a lot of guys waste their energy off of something that's an illusion. You see what I'm saying? Um, when you're not wasting your seed and you are actually on your purpose, even if let's just say you might be uh, constricted a little bit, um, probably, you know, life is just getting you, getting to you. You know what I'm saying? It's getting on your ass. If you have the mindset and you have the right type of vibration mixed with the life force energy that's flowing through your body, I'm telling you right now, you're going to attract a lot of things that you didn't know that you can attract. And one of those things might be your fucking twin flame. Now, I know somebody asked me to talk about this topic like, like four or five, six months ago. I want, and I guess the only reason why I'm bringing it up now is because, like, I don't know. Maybe I might have experienced, you know, uh, my, tw my twin flame, bro. Um, again, I, I've, I've attracted a lot of, attracted, attracted a lot of different women since I've been on my retention journey. And it's so weird. Again, when you focus on yourself, you focus on the goal, you focus on your journey, your spiritual, your, your spiritual journey, your spiritual walk, bro. It's like God just be like, all right, are you ready? Okay, are you ready? Okay, try this chick out. All right, try this chick out. You feel me? And I don't know, like, immature shit either, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of motherfuckers within this world. <laughs> if you're going to choose to lay with somebody, you want to make sure you're doing, the, uh, you're making the right decision. So a couple of things, bro. If you happen to be dealing with somebody, a female, and let's just say you're not looking for shit, but, you know, her mindset is kind of like matching your frequency or matching your mindset a little bit, but y'all totally opposite. Be the fuck careful. That possibly can be a twin fucking flame. Usually it really doesn't even matter about looks or anything like that either. I mean, when you're attracted to somebody, you're attracted to somebody, but um, a lot of the times how, how blessings work and how like things work is, it's, it's like it's, it comes to you as like a no look pass. You feel me? Y'all y'all remember like uh well some of y'all may not remember, but back in the day, you feel me, when the NBA was lit, there's this nigga named Jason Williams. Jason Williams was one of the sickest point guards in the NBA as far as like doing no look passes and behind the back and all that shit. Him, Jason Kidd, them boys really started that shit. 
yo blessing yo twin flame money abundance all that shit is gonna mm -hmm. come to you as as a no look fucking path so you gotta always be ready always be ready and always be aware because again your energy your power your, your um your life force energy is very fucking powerful and it's very attractive it is very attractive y'all boys need to be aware of your energy and i always say that because a lot of the times people will see more potential than you and they'll see so many things they could possibly do with you and now they're planning and plotting you see what i'm saying but you can tell the difference between somebody who's planning and plotting and who's a love vibrational uh, individual based on just like the, the shit that they say how they carry themselves so you'll know like okay this person is not for me i'm not even going to put all this energy into this person you know what i'm saying like you could tell after a while of retaining your energy this is why it's good not to be busting a nut all the fucking time you will see who is real like who is there for you who's gonna fuck with you for real who actually fucks with you like as a real individual so possibly you might i, I don't know if i i don't know if i want to say i met my twin flame as of recent but um i'm experience i'm experiencing some things as far as you know dealing with the twin flame and the attraction and just things that's past the physical way past the physical you know when somebody could like talk to you and y'all just click and it's just, and it's just something with with inside your head like again you just know like okay this individual is a special individual this, pe this person is very very unique god ain't god see the thing is the matrix is here to kind of confuse you and kind of like you know what i'm saying test you but the universe and god will never confuse you bro you will never be confused dog if god uh sends somebody in your life and you're vibrating at a certain frequency and y'all click y'all supposed to click you feel me that was for you you know what i'm saying i always say this dog don't look at women as just a fun time and just fucking you know what i'm saying you have to look at them more as more as a human fucking being first of all you know what i mean and understand their purpose in your life you see what i'm saying and then go from there bro you got to take what you can from that experience and and see what's up like for real it's a reason why certain people bro sometimes like you know how i say like you have more life force energy your life force energy is a is actually conscious and aware of the matrix as well so what's going to happen is your life force energy will either pull or kind of draw people into your reality that's going to help you elevate in life believe it or not dog you're very you're very fucking smart bro probably way smarter than fucking me bro dead ass serious you have to you have to let you kind of have to let your energy kind of flow in the right direction that's you know what i'm saying productive that's smart that's proactive and i'm telling you you will see flashes of your reality you're gonna see different women that you're probably experiencing now bro this is just it might be a foreshadowing you see what i'm saying but um again dog don't i say in the meantime if you know like pretty much a twin flame and this is just my definition everybody has their own definition of a twin flame but usually you know you you know you kind of ran into one when um just certain things that you know she might say or they might do or you know y'all might just be thinking at the same time bro like you'll be surprised like damn that's a twin fucking flame now what you want to do with that shit you feel me because you could find you could find a perfect person but is it the perfect time you know what i'm saying really really kind of that's the thing dog god and the universe is not going to confuse you the devil in the matrix that's here to confuse you you know what i'm saying but the good thing about retaining your energy is that it improves your your vision bro not only physically with your eyes but you'll see people's energy you'll see people's intent and you'll understand like oh shit this person's not for me i'm straight you feel me oh this person is is for me or okay this person might be for me for this particular time all right cool let's let's communicate let's uh let's trade information let's help elevate each other you know what i'm saying now if you don't give a fuck about elevating each other and if you just want to do what you want to do you go ahead and do that but i'm letting you know now probably might gonna have to deal with that karma a little bit later you see what i'm saying so you know keep it 100 with yourself don't 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 lie to yourself shit if you know you like a bitch you feel me you like her but think about 
the 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 situation as far as like if I'm gonna step into a relationship or say like oh I like this person this that and third where are you at in life do you have everything together do you have your shit together a lot of guys a lot of people make decisions based off of a foreshadowing of what they're gonna get and then when you make the decision too fast niggas ruin the fucking blessing niggas ain't trying to be out here stressing about how you know damn how we're gonna pay the bills and how we're gonna do this how we're gonna do that you see what i'm saying retaining your energy avoids a lifetime of regret bro it really do it really do and even when you do happen to get into a situation with a female that still might be the ideal female that you need to go that that you need to have that like i guess spiritual contract with i would say because bro this there's contracts there's people who are buying to each other imagine bro being buying to somebody else for the rest of your life you talking about having a baby mama or a girlfriend, whatever, or a wife, or just say, just say a baby mom's or whatever. Once you have a kid with a female, bro, you are bind, you are bind together. They y'all could be living y'all separate lives, but y'all bind together. So really think about like what you're doing and what you're saying, especially if you feel like you have feelings. To be totally honest, to be mature and to be real about this shit, I would rather respect somebody that's mature enough to say, you know what, I know I'm not ready for something. Versus, a, versus somebody that's like, man, shit, I want to have my cake and eat it too. Fuck it. I know I'm a fuck nigga, but like, shit, I'm going I'm to I'm get it in now and then whatever. You feel me? She's going to have to deal with the consequences. No, nigga, you're going to have to deal with your, the consequences later on in your life, bro. Karma comes in different forms. I'm still living out some of my karma. Bro, it's torture to go to work every fucking day or to go out in public and go out in the Matrix and see all these bad bitches that I know I can snatch. But it's torture for me because I'm not where I need to be in life. So I can look and see she could give me all the choosing signals and everything, bro. That's why I be trying to I be trying to tell these females, bro. Some of these females don't listen. They don't give a fuck. You feel me? Because when that glow starts to show and once that, that abundance mindset and energy is permeating off your body as well, any female within that realm of reality, within that particular time, is going to try to attach themselves to you. You see what I'm saying? So like just be aware be firm in what you're saying and even if a bitch don't want to listen to you you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to like show her with your damn actions that step back that pull back you gotta do that shit bro because you always got to stay focused on the goal that inner gps system that i was telling you about use that shit bro use that shit like for real yeah okay there's some there's something attractive there but that's a foreshadowing we're not making a lifelong decision based off of what's happening right now. And again, God won't confuse you, bro. God in the universe is not going to confuse you. If you are emitting the right type of frequencies and if you are doing what you need to do, if you have a solid goal, because if, if you don't have no goal, yeah, you're going to be pulled into somebody else's reality. So once you know what you want out of life and what you're trying to do, continue to uh, follow your intuition. Continue to retain your energy. Don't play around. And, and then the universe, God, Buddha, Allah, is going to expose to you, foreshadowing this person. You could probably, you could probably be with this person. You could probably be with that person. Hell, maybe you, maybe shit. Probably may not even end up being with anybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you might just be, you might be here for an experience. Hell, you might be here for an experience and then to usher in some new souls here into this reality. I can tell a lot of, a lot of things about my energy and when i do something i'm usually right so i know for a fact if i'm if i i know if i'm doing something bro even if it's like something that could uh probably um be a negative effect on me like i already know within me like okay let me avoid this or let me or let me you know what i'm saying let me do what i do because this is going to benefit me in the long run you become very, very intelligent on retaining uh, while retaining your energy. There's a lot that's going on. You're becoming smarter. Your brain cells literally are refreshing themselves. You have the life force energy going through your body all fucking day. And you're making new ones too. New motherfucking soldiers every fucking day, nigga. So don't play around with it, bro. But uh, I'm finna end the video for today, man. I just need y'all boys to stay, stay alert, stay on point. You feel me? You might end up 
uh, along your retention journey, you might end up meeting a twin flame. Um, but really, if it really is gonna work out, that per that that female, she'll be uh, patient. And she'll be open to what you have to, what you're trying to accomplish in life. Usually, with those with those type of females, you don't want to act too high or act too low. Just appreciate like the type of female that you do attract, because God ain't gonna send you confusions all the time. And you always wonder, like, damn, why do I keep getting low vibrational women this, that, and the third? Because that's where your mind, that's where your uh, energetic body still is. To be totally honest. When you look out in the matrix and you see whatever you see low key is a reflection of yourself. It really is. You know what I'm saying? It's a reflection of your vibration. So understand that like there's a lot of secret like quote unquote methods. This I feel like this is the easiest form of alchemy because you're working with creative energy and, and, and you're working with your chakras and you're working with so much where you can you have the ability to give a woman or just anybody like the best feeling in the world. You know, so well, in particular from the sex standpoint, a woman, you feel me? Because we don't, you know, we ain't, we ain't sideways, you feel me? But like, you know what I'm saying? We have the ability to give women the ultimate feeling without it being a lustful desire. See what I'm saying? That's powerful. You don't want to get that shit out at all. You don't want to just be willing nearly giving out you know what I'm saying? Good dick to everybody. Like, you don't want to be doing that shit, bro. You can lose yourself. And people will become obsessed and the attachment. And when, when you have to step back and when you got to travel and do all that shit, that shit going to hurt. It's going to hurt these people. You feel me? It's going to hurt them. Because they're so used to your presence. They're, just, they're so used to your positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Even negative people feed off of positive energy. Seriously. But yeah, man, just be aware. Um, stay focused on the goal. Stay focused on uh, what's at hand. And again, you're going to attract way more individuals and way more people that are going to gonna actually kind of surprise you, bro. It's going to be surprising a little bit. Might be a little bit overwhelming, but don't be too high. Don't be too low. And yeah, man, it's me, your boy Moody Star. Make sure you like, share, comment down below. Drop a dollar on the cash app to support the team. If you want to be the next donor, I appreciate you. And yo, I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video, man. Peace. Well, that tree was talking this whole time too. Now, nigga say, nigga say, I gotta get a shout out to uh the the underground roots and shit. Now let me stop. I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video though, man. Like, share all that good shit. Protect your energy. Stay focused. You got this shit. Peace. Nigga, hang up. I am.